are in the QBO gym, and this is where we have numerous hands-on exercises that simulate real-life scenarios that you may encounter as a bookkeeper. Each month covers a variety of new topics and scenarios, and to make it a little bit easier for you, we break it down into four different sections. So if you are looking to work on your bookkeeping skills, this is the place for you. And if you want to do an entire month's worth of these all on your own, be sure to join our free five-day bookkeeping challenge. All you need to do is click on the link in the description. But let's go ahead and get into today's exercise, which is being pulled from our October Year One warm-ups section. At the top here is an animated video to give you a synopsis of what is going on in Craig's world this month. He is our fictitious business owner. Further down is an interactive pre-assessment quiz that relates to the video up above. Below that are the exercises in this section. And at the bottom here is an optional area where after you have gone through all of the exercises in this section, you will unlock some sample marketing posts that you can use on your LinkedIn to share with everyone what you have learned so far. So let's go ahead and dive into today's exercise where we're going to practice setting up petty cash. Go ahead and click on that link to have the exercise pull up for you. I have it over here on the right side of my screen, so let's read through the scenario. When Kathy made her payment with cash, Craig told you to just add it to the petty cash account. But Craig has never set this up, so it's time to talk with him about some best practices. You begin by explaining that having a petty cash account puts him at high risk from a control standpoint for theft and abuse. As much as he would like to think that it will never happen, one of the most common forms of employee theft is stealing cash. Not only that, but without having strict controls on the money coming into and going out of the account, it's very easy for money to, quote, slip through the cracks. For instance, mixing up a client payment with an account that will be used for business expenses creates an unnecessary break in the audit chain, making it very easy for fraud points to appear. Craig hadn't even thought of all of the, way, the ways a little bit of money here and there could easily slip out of the business. You explain that to be entirely secure, it would be best for him to pay smaller expenses electronically. He could get his employees a company card or debit card um, so that they can do the same for incidentals. After much discussion, Craig explains that he really does need to have some cash at hand. For example, the machine at Squeaky Clean Car Wash frequently goes down and he has to pay cash. You agree to create a petty cash account for him with a starting amount of $150, but he has to provide you with his receipts. You tell him that you will reconcile this account every month so that you can ensure that there is no overage or shortage. That way, if there is, you can catch it quickly. Craig, tell you, excuse me, you tell him that he has to take Kathy's cash to the bank so there is a record of its deposit. Then he can take out $150 that is specifically earmarked for petty cash. Craig tells you he's really glad that he brought you uh, this up and mentions that he's glad he decided to hire a real bookkeeper. Now you will need to be in the same session of the sample company that you did the previous exercises in. If you have not completed those yet, go ahead and click on the link on the top right corner of your screen. That'll take you to the first one, complete that one, and the one after that until you get back to this one. They all build on each other, so it's important to start with that first one. I have the sample company here on the left side of my screen. This is the last page that I left off of from the previous exercise. So let's go ahead and get started with this exercise. We're gonna start by creating that petty cash account. So to get to the chart of accounts, we're gonna click on account tools and then click on chart of accounts. So account tools is here. If you still have that sidebar, just go ahead and click out of it or um, uh, over here and it will disappear. Um, go ahead and click on account tools and then select chart of accounts. Now a petty cash account is an asset and that is uh, is an asset that is used and set up like a bank account. This allows you to track all of the transactions in that account and ensure that you always know how much cash you have on hand. Since Craig doesn't have multiple departments or locations that would require separate accounts, he will only need one petty cash account. 
So to create that account, we wanna click on this new button right here, it's the green button. And then we wanna go ahead and fill it out. So in the account name field, we're going to type Petty Cash. So click into that and then go ahead and type that. In the account type field, we want to select bank because again, this is being set up as if it were a bank account. So click into that field and select bank. And then in this detail type field, it should already say cash on hand. If for whatever doesn't, for whatever reason, it doesn't just click the down arrow and select it. We're gonna leave the description box blank. You could always add a brief description here, such as funds for minor business expenses, but for the purpose of this exercise, we're just gonna leave this blank. We wanna scroll down to see the rest of the account details um, in the new account screen, which happens to be right here. <laughs> Craig wants to keep a uh, $150 float amount to start off with to make sure there is, that no one is using their personal funds if something small and unexpected is needed. He knows there have been times that he has purchased something for the business and was quote, only a few dollars, so he didn't write a check for it, and he ended up forgetting about it later. You pause here for a moment, trying to remember if you should put the $150 amount in the opening balance, but you know that getting the start date and opening balance is right or correct is crucial. If these are entered incorrectly, it can cause errors in your reports, and Craig won't get an accurate picture of where his cash is going. So we're talking about these fields right here. The opening balance should be zero. Even though you are starting the account with $150, Craig won't have the money until he gets it from the bank. At that time, you will create a transaction that adds the money to that petty cash account. And then the starting date will automatically default to today, which is when you and Craig are creating it. So you can just leave this as is. If you are entering an account that had been set up previously, you would wanna enter that date um, into the date the account was opened. So we're talking about these fields right here. We are gonna leave them as is. We, um, you could put a zero here or you can just leave it blank. And then the as of date will just default to today. So we're gonna go ahead and click on the green save button on the bottom right corner. And now that account has been created. You can see that's the second one listed right here. All right, so using a check, Craig withdrew $150 from the bank to start the petty cash account and place the cash in the locked safe in his office. He wants the receipts turned in from any purchases made from the petty cash account right away. This way, a new check can be cut from the checking account to replenish the $150 balance immediately. He doesn't think the account will be used often, but he also doesn't want to have to worry about needing cash to buy something and only having a stack of receipts and no cash when he does need it. So first we want to record the check Craig uh, wrote to cash at the bank. Note that he could have also withdrawn money using the ATM, but that would be recorded slightly differently than we're about to do here. So let's go ahead and click on that plus new button and then select check. So the plus new button is on the top left corner, click on that, and then under vendors, you're going to select check. And it, when it comes up, we are in the payee field going to type petty cash. So go ahead and do that. And since this is not currently um, a payee, if this is not currently set up as a payee, we're gonna need to add it. So once you type in petty cash, go ahead and click on plus add new petty cash you'll get this vendor profile that appears here for us. We don't need to do anything with it, so just go ahead and click on the green save button. All right, so in the bank account field, you wanna select checking if it's not already selected. The payment date is just gonna to default to today, which is perfectly fine for the purpose of this exercise. In real life, you would want to make sure that this matches when all of this actually happens. In the check number field, we're going to type 2101, since we'll say that's the, cat, or the, uh, the check number that was used. In the category field, we want to select petty cash. So go ahead and click into that. And um, I'm going to go ahead and just type in petty um, to have petty cash come up for me. You can also scroll if you would prefer. 
In the description field, we want to uh, mention what this is for. So we're going to type opening balance of petty cash account. So go ahead and click into that field and go ahead and type that. You can also um, highlight over this and copy the text and then paste it here. Either way is perfectly fine. In the amount field, we're going to type 150 since that is how much it was for. And then we are simply going to save and close. So if you click the tab key, you see it's been updated here. And now we can click on that green save and close button. And now that has been saved. Now let's just double check to make sure that entering the check established the opening balance correctly. If you're whatever reason you navigated away from this page, you would click on account and tools and then select chart of accounts once again. But this time, or, or I don't need to do that because I'm already here. But if you locate that petty cash account, you will notice now that the QuickBooks balance is showing as $150. So it was recorded correctly. Let's take a closer look um, at this. So in that far right column, we're going to click view register. That is this one right here. You may get some pop-ups like this. So just go ahead and click out of them if you happen to get them. Now let's double check the uh, register for accuracy. The reference number or type column shows that check number 2101 was used to establish the account. The payee account column shows that the check was written to petty cash and withdrawn from the checking account. The memo column shows that opening balance a memo description that we had added in that description field. The deposit column shows that $150 was deposited. And then the balance column, I have to scroll over for that, is all showing the current balance, which since nothing has been drawn yet, is showing that $150 balance. So everything looks great. So you have now established a petty cash account in the chart of accounts. There is one transaction in a balance of $150. This reflects everything to the best of your knowledge, and you can now use this account to manage and record all petty cash transactions in Craig's business. A quick summary of how to handle cash transactions. So all, all, wait, where we go? Uh, Slipped on it. There you go. <laughs> All cash payments from customers should be physically deposited into the bank account to match your sales records, not put here in this petty cash account. You should receive a receipt for every expense that was paid for with petty cash. This may, uh, they may be small, but petty cash receipts are important source documents for backing up your bookkeeping transactions. Be sure to keep and file them accordingly. As soon as petty cash is used, it should be replenished immediately, so there is always money in the fund. Replenishing it means writing another check to petty cash and cashing it at the bank. Since this is not a bank account that comes with regular statements, you will want to work with Craig to audit and reconcile it on a regular basis. You'll see how to do this in the uh, cooldown section of this issue of the gym. And by following these procedures, you will have an auditable system in place for handling cash. If the need were to arise and you should, or you would, um, excuse me, if the need were to arise, you would be able to show that you are handling cash correctly and it will position you to notice any red flags that could indicate internal theft is happening. So that is it. That is how you would set up a petty cash account. Now, if you like this exercise and you'd like to do more like it, be sure to join our free five-day bookkeeping challenge. All you need to do is click on the link in the description. We're going to continue on, and if you want to join, be sure to leave this session of the sample company open, as you will need it for the next exercise, where we practice recording expenses. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.